Conventionally, social realism trailers do not start off at the equilibrium stage of Todorov's narrative theory. I have used this convention by starting off at the disruption phase. Other social realism trailers that have done this are Skep and Bullet Boy. This is a common convention used in other social realism trailers such as Fruitvale Station and 4321. The recognition phase of my trailer comes after the, after the disruption phase. This is clear through the shot of two of my characters taking weapons out of the car. Other social realism trailers show the recognition phase of Tardoroff's narrative theory after the disruption phase. For example, trailers such as Shank and Bullet Boy show this convention, which I have used to keep my trailer original. An attempt to repair phase is the fourth stage of Tardoroff's narrative theory. This is shown in my trailer as the characters are seen searching for the killer. In adulthood, this is shown through the main character trying to make amends with the other characters. Rick Altman proposed the idea of semantic iconography and syntactic elements coming together to create generic likeness. The idea suggests that we are able to understand the genre of a film through these conventions. Semantic iconography in my trailer, including a baseball bat and a gun, helps to connect the genre. This is shown throughout my trailer as these two weapons are shown in many of my shots as it is part of my mise-en-scene. Semantic iconography is also shown in other social realism trailers such as Shank and Bullet Boy in the form of baseball bats, guns and knives. Syntactic plots and themes in social realism films are conventionally about the corruption of youth, drugs, alcohol, sex, domestic violence and homelessness. Kidderhood shows a theme of sex and teenage pregnancy along with domestic violence. These are also shown in adulthood and shank. I have challenged the majority of these plots and themes by not focusing on them. However, one theme that is evident in my trailer is domestic violence. This is shown through the mise-en-scene and the use of semantic iconography in my shots. Institutional conventions that I have used are the green screen, which appears at the beginning of my trailer for 5 seconds, and also the producer and distributor companies that appear after the green screen. Gunslinger and Revolver Entertainment are the production and distribution companies which are on my trailer. They both connect a social realism genre and they promote rising talent in the film industry since it was first established in 2009. They work as a production group to the Revolver Group and together have produced and distributed many films including Shank and Ill Manners. I have used this convention from these films as it rapidly portrays a social realism genre to my audience in the opening seconds of my trailer. The locations that I have chosen to use in my trailer are similar to those used in other social realism trailers, which is a street setting. I have chosen to follow this convention as it is more ideal and realistic as it portrays real life situations in real life settings. Examples include car parks, alleyways, industrial states, a police interview room and urban city streets. These examples in my trailer are also seen in other social realism trailers such as Shank, Kidhood and Ill Manners. The characters I have chosen portray a common stereotype that is often associated with lower class male teenagers and is seen as a modern day ideology because they are seen as troublemakers. This is another convention that I have decided to use as again it is more realistic and attracts people of the same similar age to watch the film as they may be able to relate to the situations witnessed. Establishing shots are conventionally shown within the first 30 seconds of a trailer. Kidderhood, Fruitvale Station and One Day Trailers all follow this convention. I have used this convention by displaying my establishing shots within this time frame. They are usually taken off the location where the film is set, which is what I have done. It also allows the audience to get a feel for the trailer from the start and will help attract their attention. I have used a combination of long and medium still shots where I use the tripod and handheld shots which give a point of view effect. This is a convention that I have used from original social realism trailers such as 4321 and Shank. Panning, cutting and tilting movements are all featured in my trailer as I have used these conventions from existing films such as Kidderhood and Skep. In the Kidderhood trailer a medium still shot is used when showing a character walking down the road towards the camera. A handheld recording technique is used when the characters are in the bedroom. A panning shot allows the audience to see from left to right of the shot. For example, I have used a pan for one of my establishing shots which pans from left to right of the city buildings. Editing dictates the pace of the trailer. During the montage there will be cuts every second. 
This allows the trailer to move quick and this is effective as it connects a build up to something big or important. Shank, 4321 and Kidhood all use montages in their trailers. I have challenged this convention by not including a montage. This makes my trailer unique and also connotes that the main event of the film is not shown in the trailer. This will help to attract viewers to watch the whole film when it is released. Tilting allows the audience to see from top to bottom or vice versa. I have used the tilt for another one of my establishing shots where the camera tilts upwards to show a block of council flats. This is only seen in the shank trailer as the camera tilts down to show flats in the city, which suggests that it is not a common convention seen in many social realism trailers. Therefore, I have challenged this convention as it is not seen in many other social realism trailers such as Kidhood, Adulthood and Skep. Like my post from website, I have used a sans serif font in my trailer for the title, captions and review quotes. A sans serif font connotes that the cross media package is modern and can help attract many young viewers. This is a convention that I have used from other social realism and media packages such as Shank and Fruitvale Station. Review quotes have been included in my trailer from magazines associated with films of the social realism genre. This will help attract many viewers of various ages, mainly a young generation. I have challenged this convention as films such as Adulthood 4321 and Shank do not include any review quotes from other media products. I have included many fades in my trailer to link two shots together. For example, the Sundance Festival award shot and the time lapse with the review quote is connected by a fade. Shank, Adulthood and Kidhood all use fades in their trailers which suggests that it is a common convention in the social realism genre which I have used. Cuts are a feature in my trailer as I have scenes that are separated by them. I have used the cut to separate my establishing shots. Cuts are used in the Fruitvale Station skit and one day trailers. This connotes that they are also a common convention that is used in many social realism genre trailers. There are four sound conventions typically used in trailers of all genres. Dialogue, which is when characters in the trailer are speaking, is included in my trailer when one of the male characters walks to the car and shouts, I need a name. I have used dialogue as it is conventional for social realism trailers to include this. Films such as Shank and Adulthood include dialogue in their trailers. A second sound convention is narration, which is when somebody is speaking about the trailer, telling the storyline but isn't shown on screen. I have included pieces of narration in my trailer over the recording of the establishing shots. On the streets where we grew up. Searching for the killer. Narration features in other social realism trailers such as Fruitvale Station. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey! And Skip. He's the one that killed me sister. Having a soundtrack in the trailer is vital in social realism trailers. They are a common convention that is used in many trailers including One Day, Shank and Adulthood. I'm not killing anyone. It is a part of youth culture as it helps attract the young generation and allows them to download the soundtrack. The genre of the soundtrack usually reflects the genre of the film trailer. I have used a hip hop genre soundtrack in my social realism trailer as they complement each other. Other social realism trailers such as Shank and Adulthood also use a hip hop genre soundtrack in their trailers. Yo, and I move like Do you want something, bruv? Mind your business, man. Do you know this mug? Is he bothering you? Hey, blood, don't touch me, yeah? What part of me looks like your blood? The fourth sound convention is sound effect. I haven't included any sound effects in my trailer as this is a convention rarely seen in the social realism genre. Therefore, I have used the convention of not including any sound effects in my trailer. I need to move! 